Sports played a massive part in my life. I've been sporty uh, for as long as I can remember. And I was that kid, you know, in school that everyone wanted to pick first to be on their team because uh, I was just good at every sport. And then when I, when I got ill in 2014, you know, the stroke and the MS diagnosis, it was one of those things that I thought was going to be taken away from me. Um, and a consultant kind of just said to me, there is, there is a chance that you'll be able to run. And, and me and my mum were like, you know what, we're going to grab onto that, you know, with two hands and run with it. <laughs> um, Unfortunately, I was I was one of those athletes that was constantly injured. I'd always end up, you know, with a hamstring tear and Achilles problem, um, and just never quite got through a season without an injury. For me, I'm one of seven children, so um, asking my parents constantly to fork out for physio wasn't really an option. And there'd been times when, you know, I'd thought about quitting. Um, there'd been times when I was just really low, because, you know, for me, athletics was my escape, you know, it was my happy place, and not being able to do that was, was quite tough. Yeah, I think it's amazing, you know, to have this this kind of research being done. It's something that's probably been needed for a very long time. And for me, you know, looking at, you know, people with disabilities, there's a lot you can do to Im improve if you kind of get them at that age. And it's the same, you know, across the board. So I think it's great that this initiative is being put in place.